deep breath. This is exciting news. For the first time ever, we're gonna be having a year-long mystery crochet along. If you do prefer to knit, check out our video from a couple weeks ago because we do have a year-long mystery knit along happening as well. So super exciting news, we're gonna be making blankets. Yay! So this design is called Hearthside and it was designed for you by Jane Vincelli. So at the end of the year, you're gonna have a gorgeous, snuggly blanket that'll be filled with a year's worth of memories. So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna release a new clue for you each month. You'll crochet that section of the project and then you're gonna wait for the next month to receive the next clue. I will put the link to the pattern PDF in the description box for you if you would love to join us. We hope you can come along, it's gonna be super fun and there's gonna be prizes. So here are three tips to ensure that your blanket is fabulous. The first thing is you're gonna need worsted weight yarn in a natural fiber that blocks well. This blanket will benefit from a great blocking, so using a natural fiber is best. We used our Enduring Worsted Yarn, which is perfect for this. It washes and blocks beautifully, and it's gonna hold up well to lots of love and use. The second thing is you wanna sign up for email updates on the site. This is where we're gonna be announcing the next clues and featured colors. So if you don't wanna guess on which colors to use, we are gonna have recommended colors in a cool palette for you and a warm palette for you. The third thing is I do recommend that you do a gauge swatch for the pattern. This just helps to ensure your blanket is the size you intended and that you don't run out of yarn. Let's go ahead and jump into today's clue. I'm gonna be showing you how to work section one of the blanket and I'll be doing the first seven rounds for you and if you can work those you're golden to work the rest of the section. We're gonna go ahead and start with a chain four, one, two, three, four and you're gonna join with a slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. So you have a nice little ring there. Now we're gonna work a chain one. We're starting with round one now. Chain one, single crochet, chain three, triple crochet, chain three, into the ring, and we're gonna do that four times. So single crochet, chain two, three, triple crochet, yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain three, two, three. So that's one time we need to do that four times total. Let's do it again. Single crochet, chain three, two, three, triple crochet, chain three. So that's two times. Let's do it again. And this is all just into that ring. Single crochet, chain three, two, three, triple crochet and chain three. One, two, three. That's our third time. Let's go ahead and repeat it again. Single crochet. One, two, three, and triple crochet. Do, 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 and chain three. Three. So that's our fourth time. And we're gonna go ahead and finish this round with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. And we should have something that looks like this. To start round two, you're gonna work a chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And this does count as a double crochet and a chain four space. What you're gonna do next, and you're gonna repeat this three times, is single crochet into the next triple crochet, chain four, two, three, four, and then double crochet into the next single crochet. And chain four. One, two, three, and four. So let's repeat that two more times. Single crochet into the next triple crochet. Chain four, two, three, four. Double crochet into the next single crochet. Chain four, two, three, four. And let's do it again. Single crochet into the next triple crochet and chain four, two, three, four. Then you're going to double crochet into the next single crochet. And chain four, one, two, three. Then to finish off this round, we're gonna work a single crochet into this last triple crochet. Chain four, two, three, 
four, and we're gonna slip stitch to the third chain of our beginning chain seven. One, two, three. Go ahead and slip stitch to that chain to finish off that round. Round three starts with a chain three, two, three, and this does count as a double crochet. Then you're gonna double crochet in the same stitch as the slip stitch. So right here. So that counts as two double crochets. Now you're going to single crochet into the next chain four space. Chain one. And then into the next single crochet, you're gonna work two triple crochets. There's one. There's two. Chain two and two more triple crochets into that same single crochet. One and two. Next up, you're gonna chain one and then single crochet into the next chain four space. Now you'll work three double crochets into the next double crochet over here one, two, three. And we're gonna continue repeating that around. Single crochet into the next chain four space, chain one, and then into the next single crochet, we're gonna work two triple crochets. There's one, and doot, doot, two, chain two, and then two more triple crochets into that same single crochet. One, and two. Next up, you'll chain one, and then you're gonna single crochet into the next chain four space. Now you'll work three double crochets into the next double crochet. One, two, and three. Let's go ahead and repeat again. Single crochet into the next chain four space, chain one, then into that single crochet we'll work two triple crochets There's one, and now we've got two, and then chain two, and two more triple crochets into that same stitch. Then you're gonna chain one, and we're gonna go ahead and work a single crochet into this next chain four space, and three double crochets into this next double crochet. One, two, and three. Let's go ahead and finish off the round with a single crochet into the next chain four space. Chain one, two triple crochets into this single crochet. chain two, two more triple crochets into the single crochet, one and two, and then chain one, single crochet into the next chain four space, then you're going to double crochet into the third chain of the beginning chain seven of the previous round, which is right down here. So it might be a little confusing. Remember here is our chain seven from the time before. We're gonna work into that same third chain that we worked before. Do a double crochet. So it looks like you got three double crochets even though this was a chain three here which counts as a double crochet. To finish off the round, you're gonna go ahead and slip stitch to the top of that chain three. And there's round three for you.
For round four, you're gonna start with a chain one and you're gonna single crochet into this same stitch. Like so. Then you're gonna single crochet in the next double crochet. So just jump over to that next one, work a single crochet, single crochet in the next single crochet, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in each of the next two triple crochets. You can see this is just a fun single crochet round. Three single crochets into the chain two space, one, two, and three. Single crochet in each of the next two triple crochets, one and two. Single crochet into the chain one space, and into the next single crochet, and then single crochet into the next two double crochets, one and two. And you're gonna go ahead and repeat that two times. So single crochet into the next double crochet, and into the next single crochet, single crochet into the chain one space, and work one single crochet into each of the next two triple crochets. Work three single crochets into the chain two space, one, two, and three. Single crochet into the triple crochets, one and two. Also into the chain one space, also into the chain or the single crochet, and then the next two double crochets. Do and do. So let's go ahead and do all of that again. Single crochet into the next double crochet, into the next single crochet, into the chain one space, in each of the next two triple crochets, one and two. Three single crochets into that chain two space, one, two, and three. One single crochet into each of those two triple crochets. Single crochet into the chain one space. Also into the next single crochet, and then the final two double crochets right here for that repeat. So then moving on, you're gonna single crochet into the next double crochet, also into the next single crochet, work into the chain one space, one each into the next two triple crochets, one and two. Three single crochets into the next chain two space, just like we've been doing, one, two, and three. Also one single crochet each into the next two triple crochets. Also work into the chain one space, the next single crochet, and then single crochet into the last double crochet and slip stitch to the first single crochet. And that is what this round is looking like. Now I recommend just to make sure the next round does work out correctly. You don't have to do this step, but I found it helpful. Put a stitch marker into that center single crochet there in the corner and go ahead and do that for all four corners. And you can see where it is. You'll see the two legs. There's the next two legs, which you want to work into that stitch and then the final two legs. Just find that center single crochet in each corner and go ahead and mark that and you'll be extra sure for the next round that you are working into the correct stitch. Because sometimes it can be a little challenging to see that you're working into the correct stitch. There's three. Find those two little legs. Here's the next two legs. And then it's that stitch you want to mark. So we're good to go to start round five. To start round five, you're gonna begin with a chain five, three, four, five, and this does count as a double crochet and a chain two space. Now we're gonna go ahead and skip the next single crochet. So skip the very first stitch where you're coming out of and skip that first single crochet and you're gonna double crochet into the next one. 
So skip that one and go into the next one with a double crochet. Chain two, skip one single crochet, half double crochet into the next single crochet. Forgot to how to work. <laughs> I forgot how to work a half double crochet. Half double crochet into that next single crochet. Chain two. Half double crochet into the next single crochet. So the very next one. Chain one. Now you're going to skip one single crochet and single crochet into the next single crochet, which is our marked stitch. So we know we are golden. Perfect. That's what we want. We're going to have a single crochet in that corner single crochet. Chain one, go ahead and skip one single crochet and half double crochet into the next. Then go ahead and chain two, one, two, and half double crochet into the next, the very next stitch. Now skip one single crochet chain two and double crochet in the next single crochet and we're going to do that twice. So skip one, chain two, double crochet into the next. Skip one, chain two and double crochet into the next. Chain two, skip one. Now we're going to repeat that around two more times. Double crochet into the next stitch after you've skipped one. Chain two. Skip one and work a half double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two. Half double crochet into the very next stitch. Chain one. Skip one single crochet and you're going to single crochet into the next single crochet, which is our marked stitch. Get out of my way, little varmint. Okay. Uh, single crochet into that corner stitch. All right. Then you're going to go ahead and chain one. Skip one single crochet and half double crochet into the next one. Then chain two and half double crochet into the very next stitch. Once you've done that, you're going to skip one single crochet, chain two, and double crochet into the next. And we'll do that twice. Skip one, work a double crochet into the next. Skip one, chain two, and double crochet into the next. Chain two, skip one, and we're going to do the repeat again. Here we go. Double crochet into the next one after we've skipped one. Chain two. Skip one and half double crochet into the next. Chain two. Half double crochet into the very next stitch. Chain one. Skip one stitch and single crochet into that next single crochet. Chain one. Skip one single crochet and half double crochet into the next. Chain two half double crochet into the next single crochet. Now we're going to skip one, chain two, double crochet into the next. Skip one, chain two, and double crochet into the next. Now chain two, skip one, and let's continue on. We're going to double crochet into the next stitch. We're going to chain two, we're going to skip one, and we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. Skip one, half double crochet into the next. Then you're going to chain two, half double crochet into the next single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet into the marked stitch. Chain one, skip one, 
half double crochet into the next, skip one, half double crochet into the next. Making sure I was doing that correctly. Chain two, half double crochet into the next, chain two, skip one, so skip this one, double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, skip one and slip stitch to the one, two, third chain of that starting chain five. And you have successfully worked round five. Start round six, you're gonna begin with a chain one and all into this same stitch here, this third chain, we're gonna work a single crochet, chain five, two, three, four, five, single crochet, dive back down into that same stitch, Chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet, again into that same space. Chain five, two, three, four, five, and single crochet into that same space. And you've just made a little tree foil. Super cute. Moving on, we're gonna go ahead and work two single crochets into the next chain two space. One, two, and do that again. Two single crochets into the next chain two space. Now you're gonna chain three, two, three. Two single crochets into the next chain two space. Now you're gonna single crochet into the next chain one space and into the next single crochet and the next chain one space. Now two single crochets in the next chain two space. Chain three, two, three, and two single crochets into the next chain two space twice. So there's once, and then we'll work two into this next chain two space as well. Now we're gonna single crochet, chain five, single crochet, chain seven, single crochet, chain five, single crochet, which is that tree foil, into the next double crochet. So let's do that. Single crochet, chain two, three, four, five. Same stitch, go down into that double crochet and work a single crochet. Now chain seven, six and seven. Single crochet into that same double crochet. Chain five, two, three, four, five, and single crochet into that same stitch. And we're gonna repeat all of that two more times. <laughs> so take a deep breath and here we go. Two single crochets into the next chain two space. One and two, and do it again. Two single crochets into the next chain two space. One and two. Chain three, two, three. Two single crochets into the next chain two space. One and two. Now you'll single crochet into the next chain one space the next single crochet and the next chain one space then two single crochets into the next chain two space one and two then you'll chain three two three and work two single crochets into the next chain two space and we're going to do that twice one two jump over to the next one and we'll do it in that one as well one and two now we're gonna go ahead and work a tree foil into the next double crochet. Start with a single crochet and a chain five, three, four, five. Single crochet into that same stitch and a chain seven, five, six, seven. Single crochet again into that same double crochet, then chain five, then you'll single crochet into that same stitch again, and you have another little tree foil made. Boop, boop, super cute. All right, we're gonna continue on with two single crochets into the next chain two space. One and two, and we're gonna do that again. One and two, so we've worked two more into the next chain two space. 
chain three, two, three, and work two single crochets into the next chain two space. One, two, single crochet into the next chain one space, the next single crochet, the next chain one space, two single crochets into the next chain two space, one, two, chain three, two, three, two single crochets into the next chain two space, one, two, and you're going to do that again, one, and two. Then we're going to go ahead and work another trefoil. So start with a single crochet, a chain five, single crochet into the same stitch, and then a chain seven, then single crochet again into the same stitch, and a chain five, and a single crochet, same stitch. So there's another trefoil. All right, let's go ahead and finish up this round with two single crochets into the next chain two space, one and two. And we're gonna do that again, two single crochets into the next chain two space. Then we're gonna chain three and work two single crochets into the next chain two space, one, two, then single crochet into the chain one space, the next single crochet, the next chain one space, two single crochets into the next chain two space, one and two, and then a chain three, two, three, two single crochets into the next chain two space, and we're gonna do that again one and two. Then we're going to slip stitch to this first single crochet, which is the start of our round, and there is round six for you. You're going to actually go ahead and cut your yarn, and then we're going to pick up the yarn again to start round seven. You can go ahead to start round seven and just pull up the yarn from the previous round, so that's nice and secure. To start round seven, we're going to actually need to join our yarn and we're going to do so in the top of the little trefoil here. So count up one, two, three, four, which is your center stitch of the chain seven, and insert your hook into the actual stitch, grab your yarn, and just pull that through, and you're all set. And you can work just into this loop here if you want, but big thanks to Christina, who pointed out that it's actually better to work into the actual stitch to reduce friction of the stitch sliding around in here, and it's gonna give a little bit more of a crisp look to your design. So once you've attached your yarn, you're gonna start with a chain four. One, two, three, four, and this does count as a single crochet in a chain three space. Then you're gonna double crochet into the top of the chain five of the trefoil, and again, work into that middle third stitch. So you've got your double crochet. Now you're gonna chain three, one, two, three. Then you're gonna slip stitch into the chain three space. So it's a little bit of a jump here over to this chain three space. And go ahead and slip stitch into that. Next up, you're gonna single crochet into the next seven single crochets. Nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you're going to slip stitch into this next chain three space, and then chain three, two, three. Now you're going to double crochet into the that middle chain of that chain five of the next trefoil. Double crochet there, chain three, Single crochet into the top of the chain seven. One, two, three, four, which is the middle chain of the chain seven. Work a single crochet there. Chain three. And we're gonna repeat all of that two more times. Double crochet into that middle chain of that chain five. 
of the trefoil, chain three. Now make a big jump and slip stitch into the chain three space and work a single crochet into each of those seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then into this chain three space, you're gonna slip stitch, chain three, and double crochet into that center chain of that chain five of the trefoil. Next up, you'll chain three. Now you're gonna single crochet into the top of this chain seven. One, two, three, four. And chain three. Now let's repeat all of that again. Double crochet into the top of this chain five. One, two, three. Chain three, two, three. Make a big old jump. Whee! And slip stitch into this chain three over here. And then work a single crochet into each of the seven single crochets. Just walking along the edge. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you'll slip stitch into the next chain three space. Oops, slip stitch. Chain three, two, three. Double crochet into the top of this chain five in the trefoil. Double crochet right there. Chain three. Single crochet into the top of the chain seven. One, two, three, four. Chain three. Now we can go ahead and finish off this round. What you're gonna do is double crochet into the top of the next chain five. Chain three, slip stitch into the next chain three space, jump all the way over here, and then slip stitch. Single crochet into each of the next seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, oops, six, and seven, and then slip stitch into the chain three space. Next up is a chain three. Double crochet into the top of the next chain five space of the trefoil. I like to grab two legs so it's nice and secure. Two legs of the chain. Double crochet, chain three. And then you're gonna slip stitch to the first chain at the beginning of the round. and you are good to go to continue on. Once you finish round seven, this is what you should be looking at, and you're gonna notice what used to be your corners have now become your sides, and what used to be your sides have now become your corners, so that's super exciting. So once you've worked those seven rounds, you are gonna have a few more basic rounds for this section, just mainly double crochets and basic stitches. So once you've worked that section, hang tight and await next month's clue. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next clue. Also, sign up for email updates on the site. Like I was mentioning, it is the best way to hear when each clue goes live throughout the year. Have a scrumptious day, my beautiful friend. I hope you get to join us on this fun adventure. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.